Oh, hello guys. Good Thursday afternoon. It's still Thursday. And welcome back to more Slay the Spire. We're not going down like this today. Not like this. Not like this at all. We're going to do a daily, though. The runs today left me feeling very hollow and empty. What the fuck? Dude, it's Pokemon. Look at all the unknown. There's like a whole alphabet of them. Orzik. Uh, yeah. The, the run today left me feeling like very hungry to actually play the game and show I have some competency and skill. Enel, that's my son. Okay. The, the name of the... Oh, hey, wait. Did they all just load before me? Wait, I'm not crazy, right? Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do a daily, because game's kicking my ass. I feel really bad after today's runs, because they were just, like, actual trash fires. Uh, so we're gonna do a daily. Silent, All-Star, Cursed Run, Night Terrors. I'm gonna preface this now. I am gonna push the limit for score. If I crash and burn, we'll, we'll, we'll do some more ascension mode. <laughs> Gulping at the thought of it. Ideally, I would like not to crash and burn on ascension again. Or on a daily again, I should say. Let's uh, find some success. Also, using this as like a double take to um, preface some announcements I forgot to do in the last one. So first, let me uh, find a path here. Two elites right here. Fireplaces any, uh, anywhere else with some elites. Any Anywhere else. Anywhere else. No? No, we get, get some elites here in a shop. Yeah. Uh, so, first... Oh. Let's just not take damage. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, first announcement. Um, in regards to streams, get Hand of Golden. Ideally, get Hand of Golden. Uh, first announcement. Let's go with it. Come on, Tim. What were you thinking? Uh, stream stuff. So, still loving, like, um... Monster Hunter to the ends of the earth. Although, I found myself just like sort of, you know, waning on throwing it on stream more and more just because I'm like, eh. You know, it's just me sort of grinding in game monsters at this point and just hanging out with my friends, which is something I'm totally for. Thinking here. What do you want? Probably a dash is fine. Sure. Uh, so, um. I'm, I'm, I'm like tripping over. I just got done playing Slay this or Wizard of Legend where I can rapid fire talking about announcements and here I am just trying to think because I'm trying to focus here. Uh, streams. Fall New Vegas, it's coming back. It's Monday. On Monday, we were returning back to the Wasteland. I'm still going to be doing uh, Monster Hunter streams on the side in between days just because I like playing the game a lot. Just don't think any longer it needs to be like the main game uh, stream on the channel or game streamed on the channel because uh, it really should be more single player focused. I do love good one off games like this, so if something else comes up that, you know, makes me put everything else on hold, it is what it is. That's all I'll say on that. But um, yeah, we're going to get back into the swing of things with Fallout on Monday. Back in that uh, game plan and phase, so we can uh, start progressing on that list a little bit more. Crack away some more games, because we have a lot of things this year that are coming out that I do want to play. So, that preface, we got that. Uh, and I also mentioned, even though it's probably like on the lower part for this end here, uh, as far as viewership goes for uh, Wizard of Legend, I mentioned it's on the downward trend, still true. Uh, downward trend meaning like I probably have 36 more videos that I'd like to record of it. And at the pace I go, that pretty much means to the end of the year, sort of where I'm at there. What it also means is I might actually double up on uh, doing, you know, more Wizard Legend every day sort of deal. Or maybe squeezing in some on the weekend. I don't know yet. We're going to try and bump out more of those videos so I can actually get some uh, progress going there. Because I want to fill that slot with uh, something else ideally. And that's not a jab towards Wizard Legend. It's still a wonderful, wonderful game. But... I don't think it's a roguelike I can play infinitely like I can play this fire, although sometimes I wonder, should I play this game infinitely the way I play? I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But yeah. Those are the big announcements. Um, I guess, you know, as big as they get. So, what do we have? Dream's coming back to the single-player gameplay stuff. 6, 12, 18. You can kill him. Uh, so we're going back to Fallout and then bouncing something else after I'm done with all the DLC there. That's going to be a while, so who knows? Maybe I'll squeeze out even more of those streams uh, somewhere along the way. Yeah. In, in a lot of ways, it's not really an announcement. It's something I thought about is uh, doubling up on doing more streams. But like, as I've mentioned before, I really enjoy watching streams myself. I'm a stream monster at the end of the day. I love streams. I love streams and I love gold. So you can't have both. You either you're streaming or you're watching streams. And you know what? Don't know where the happy medium is there. I kind of like the idea of doing Transmutation X. It just sounds fun. That just sounds really fun. Could be really disastrous as well. 
Let's go ahead and upgrade Backstab. We'll get that thing upgraded in a second, because I would like to win still and get a high score. Uh, two very daring feats I'm going to attempt here for you live today. Um... Uh, This is very foolish, but I'm just going to doppelganger, and I'm going to see what happens here. Hilarious. Is there an attack from my draw pile that I like to play? No. So I've added a lot of junk to my deck, so I'm still going for a high score, believe it or not. <laughs> The opener may have you thinking otherwise, but there's still some fun to be out here, and we ought to go right now, so let's start uh, cracking away at this boil. So can I perfect this boss fight? Maybe if I didn't do what I did here as far as um, blockage goes, totally possible. Give me a block. That's not a block. Okay. So the perfect dream is instantly dead. And you know what? I ain't... Ooh, 4, 12, 10. That's not enough. You know what? Let's just not die. All right, and I kind of knew as soon as I did the uh, like mass freaking uh, give me a bunch of garbage cards with the uh, transmutation there. I knew what I was in for, so you know what? I'll take it back. I lied. I'm a big liar. It wasn't about high score today. It's about seeing the third floor, the mythical third floor. I know it exists. Also having a bit of fun and just chilling out, maxing and relaxing, all cool, playing some card games outside of the school. I don't really love any of this, and Poison Stab kind of just makes me want to vomit. Unless we get a Poison deck, that'd be cool, but uh, you take a look here. There's not a lot of Poison to go around. Infinite Blades, maybe we can make like a fun Shiv deck until I fight Time Lord, and then I cry inevitably that I'm fighting Time Lord, because I made a Shiv deck. So, off with you. Let's go block, block, transmutate. Sure, we'll weaken you. Uh, and there's no point in playing that, so we'll just go on and move on with our lives. Good attempts at damage there. I, I appreciate the, the moxie on these guys. Wasn't enough to do someone like me in, though. It's gonna take a lot more than that to finish me up. It actually wouldn't. Like, have you seen the last few runs? They've been uh, pretty lackluster. That's only big announcements, so yeah. Stream's coming back to the normal schedule. Big woohoo there. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna continue doing what I do. I'm gonna play video games, dude. We're gonna have a grand old time doing it. And a part of me wants to just continue to apologize for Slay the Spire, but like at some point you can apologize so much everyone's just like, yo, just, just, you know, ultimately, shut up. It's okay, it's a game. I was just like, yeah. I'm just a very like, I don't wanna say, you know, oh, I'm such a nice person. It's like, okay, I, people that tend to say that, if you're like this, it's not a jab at you, it's not a slight at you, just from my experience, and I also don't wanna end up like it. But it's like, people who are always saying, you know, I'm just so nice, I gotta apologize. It's like, there's gotta be a reason why so-and-so is apologizing so goddamn much, don't you think? And again, not a slight at anyone. Some people are just really apologetic. That's me, but it also probably gets like, grating when someone's just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And this is also not a slight to my friend who like, her basic gag is, her buzzword if we play Twivia, Twivia. <laughs> Twivia with Dr. Wiwi. Uh, trivia is, I'm sorry. Which I still find amusing, because it's like... <laughs> you say I'm sorry for everything, but you did nothing wrong. This is also the same person, as I mentioned before, when I used to play Rainbow Six Siege. Easily! And, I, you know, I'll take no horse hockey from any of my friends here. Ideally, like, probably one person, if they wanted to, like, make any commentary there. Of, uh... Her not being probably the best Siege player in her group when I played a lot of Siege. Uh, the girl's good. Like, she's really good. Highly respect her. If I ever did any sort of like competitive gaming and I needed like someone level-headed on my team, absolutely would pick her. We would probably get into a lot of arguments as well, because I she's got a very strong personality. I like that. Cool kid or Rooney. Um no. No 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 no. Which is very good at gaming. Like I remember I played Overwatch with her at a time when I played a lot of Overwatch. I don't play a lot of like games like that in general anymore for a number of reasons. My friend asked me why. They're like, hey, why don't you, you know, what happened? Why don't you play Fortnite with us anymore? Why don't you play Overwatch or anything like that with us anymore? It's like, there's a reason. There's a very good reason. And it's no one's fault of my own. I'd just rather not deal with it. 
for this individual, whenever we did play games, I'm just like, you know what? Like, actually very level-headed, knows how to win the game, looks for the W. I appreciate that. I respect you. You smart, you loyal. Haven't thrown that one out there in a while, have we? Yeah. What am I talking about? I'm just rambling on about my friends here. And I could do that for ages, but... I don't think that's something anyone really cares to hear too much about. Hey, can you... Vanish? Very nice. Curse hurts. I don't think I took any damage here. I mean, I'm, I'm basically... I'm like, I've got a highway blindless, I guess. Blindless? Highway... Bl is it highway blindless? Am I... Am I dumb? I'm, I'm not thinking properly. Highway... Blind. High blind. Highway blind. It is highway blindness. I'm just moving so fast that uh, I, I'm forgetting about what I talked about. Also, the whole like you know joke, uh -huh, early onset Alzheimer's. I use it all the time. I just never know where I am at certain points in the day, it seems. Uh, give me a piercing wheel. Good defensive options mean good chances of not taking damage on boss fights. You can have the energy potion. Oh. Wish it was a poison deck now. I really do. Resting lowers our max HP. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade something. At five attacks, it's really good. You dealing two damage a piece. I kind of like that a little bit more. We have a lot of cards we are flinging out there like mad. Wouldn't mind it. Hey, like I said, wouldn't mind it. They want to also give me like an after image somewhere in between here. I wouldn't mind it either. Wow. I could have swore the upgraded version of this card was... um. What am I trying to say? The upgraded version was just, uh, it's one cheaper, it still does one damage. Still costing two, which is a little unfortunate, but doing that much more damage is pretty nice. I'm also going to grab a dodge roll, thanks to the, uh, odd smooth stone there, giving me a little bit of extra block, and we want to perfect this fight. So I'm going to grab Dark Shackles for some of those massive AoE attacks, and I'm just going to hope for the best, dude. I'm just going to hope for the best. Give me the random cards. In its own way, this is like a flash... And stroke of good luck. That's a wonderful little opener there. Everything has been upgraded. I got apotheosis out of that. What more can a man ask for? Now, probably a little bit more block here. <laughs> so you're doing 24. This would not get me enough. Actually, it would. So you go... Just, just drink it. Because I want to... I want to dash. I want a dagger spray. And I want to attack. That would not give me enough. You see that? That it would have given me enough. I'll see. Check it out. Look at that restraint. I use my head here. No. Yeah. No. I am still a fool and heathen. All you needed was venom and calipers. Hey. That's some positive remarks on the prior video. Appreciate that. Definitely have to hit up that comment in a second here. Hey, regret. No. Be gone. Neutralize is now great. It's two turns of weakness. And we're laying into this guy. I think we have a chance at uh, getting beyond perfect today. Okay, that's fine. Infinite Blades, very good. Defend, very good. And you may as well play cards. Every card you play is two extra damage on it. So, why not, my friend? Why not, indeed? That's nice. I'm, I'll be honest. I, yeah, like I'm not someone that's like, anytime you guys give me negative feedback, I'm not sitting here like, mm, everyone's so mean. Because I, I honestly, I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. The best way to improve... He's got to take that hard criticism to heart. So he can get better. Doesn't mean anytime I get a nice compliment uh, one way or the other, I'm just like, hey. You may not know it right now, but you put a fairly good smile on my face. So thank you, sir. Um, He's not going to hurt me. Thank you. Armor up. All right, we've done it. We have perfected this boss fight. He can do it. He's still got it in him. If we can do that on Ascension Mode, that'd be great. Step in the right direction. We had the Specimen. This would be pretty good. I'm gonna stick with Thousand Cuts. It's it's suboptimal. No doubt about it. Give me Philosopher's Stone as well. Like I said, if I can perfect everything, that's fine. I'm gonna go for something that's gonna be a fun time. As I said at the beginning of the video when I was prefacing, hey, we're gonna go for a high score. Nah, instantly as I said, I'm a liar. I'm still going to fight every elite I can. Just know, first and foremost, I am a heathen and a liar. Okay, so that's like three elites with only one rest in between. That's a little concerning. I am going to try. 
I can fight two elites with no fireplaces. All right, you still got to give it your best. If things go bad, we'll pivot off the path and go somewhere safe. I think this is a fine start. That's a lot of damage, though. No one's going to be fooling you here when they say, Oh, is that a lot of damage? What do you think it's a lot of damage? Of course it is. We're doing 15. It's all thanks to the stone as well, so... Basically did it to myself. That's 20 damage. Let's, uh, not... Can you not? Very good. Let's do a transmutation. Uh, bandage up just for the damage. We're not taking any more damage. Panic button is very foolish. I'm not sure if I can ever find a situation where that's good. Obviously, it's like, you know, it's a Hail Mary when you got, like, the KO in sight. But if you don't, I don't think you want to be messing around with that too much. Speaking of KOs... Not quite. Although it doesn't matter if he gets back up the air. We're just going to chop him down with any card we play. So Dagger Spray is a good choice for that. We can knock you out of the sky. Knock you out of the sky. Play Metamorphosis. See what wonderful things we have in store. Die, die, die. Don't mind if I do. And this is good. We're just chilling here. Just chilling. Cruising to the victory line here. Morale boosts and all that jazz. Give me more infinite blades. I'm a blade master at the beginning of the day. I'll be a blade master at the end of the day. Man, I think about blade master. It reminds me of this uh, really cool D and D item that I totally did not, you know, just basically take from a post on the internet. I mean, I absolutely did. If you can't catch the joke, it's, I don't know what to tell you. But it's basically it's called like the the cloak of infinite blades. And I think if you literally Google that right now, you'll still see it. Okay, get this. Um, Android off the back of my screen there. I was on the uh, Wizard of Legend wiki and it kept advertising this Genesis model to me and it looks like an Android, so I'm kind of afraid Cybernet's taking over. Uh, cloak of Infinite Blades. Let's spell infinite, right? I-N-F-I-N-I-T. N-I-T-E. There you go. Cloak of Infinite Blades. <sighs> I, I would get a Slay by reference. D&D. Cloak of a Thousand Daggers. Is this it? No. It's Code of Infinite Daggers. Uh, link to the item. Code of Infinite Daggers. Yeah. You can read over that piece there. It was such a fun item. I don't know. I'm talking about it because I have Infinite Blades in this deck. I guess that's the long and short of it there. Uh, fun little item that uh, I remember I gave after like some sort of quest my friends did. Um... They go retrieve a book from a library and they end up getting like enslaved and captured by a necromancer that took over and everyone's sort of just like, yeah, what the hell? And then they had to beat everyone up so they can make it look like they escaped. But long and short is, anytime I play D with my friends, there's a grand old time until they toss me aside like the person I am. I'm kidding. Till uh, life got the better and then, you know, you have to take care of number one at the end of the day. Is it, it's like D&D, &D, like, uh, you know, your dungeon master's, like, you know, folly. Where it's like, I've given them such an uh, outstanding item to use. And it's like, I don't think they ever used it once outside of the one time they messed with it. In fact, I probably think they forgot it existed. <laughs> and that's, like, the folly of, like, any time I play D&D &D, or when I used to uh, dungeon master a lot. It's like, hey, made all this cool, like, uh, Mysteria, Mystique side quest stuff over here. You should go this way, nudge them in this direction. It's like, hey, you know. It's kind of feel like farting around. It's like, well, that is your right. I cannot tell you otherwise. You're just making me a sad boy because I put so much effort into stuff over here, but that's fine. Good DM, you can repurpose that shit. The basically where they were going, they would be none the wiser. At least that's how I did it. I don't know. I haven't played D and D in forever. Again, probably one of the best games you could ever play. Uh, no holds bars. I don't want to die here. In my uh, humble and honest opinion, it's just like it's. It's just that good. As long as you got imagination, you can play a good old game of D&D. As long as you have a good dungeon master, you can play a good old game of D&D. I get on these binges a lot for that game as well. A part of me, like, deeply misses playing it, but, you know, that's life. Uh, yeah, give me a relic. I ain't afraid. Sure, a curse? Why not? You gave me ice cream, dude. I love free ice cream. Uh, we're still sitting pretty as far as HP goes, so maybe we'll take on the next, uh... Oh yeah, curses increase my strength, so by all means, keep them coming. I fear no mortal man. What's the line from that one movie, The One? Hang on. The One starring... The One... It's, it, the movie's called The One, and it's got like a... It's an, a kung fu fighting movie. The One... Kung... Um, kung fu cookie movie. What? Fighting movie, please. 
What's the name of the actor in this one? Not Birth of the Dragon. I forget the name of the movie. I also forget where I was going with this. Oh, jeez. Seems to happen a lot, doesn't it? I just vaguely remember, like, a piece from that movie. It's like the end of the movie, and it's like the guy gets... What happened to that movie? Holy shit, Tim. Me, this is also me in real life trying to hold a conversation with anyone. It's like, yeah, the, the thing and the and the what? And it's just like, hello? Are you okay? Doctor, please help this man. He's not sure where he is right now. Which is also very true to my character. Um, no more cards, please. I think we're good. Ideally, I don't want to take 20 fucking damage, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit ya. Hit ya. We're gonna get some blocks for this as well. We're gonna get a little bit more block as well. Decent. Eight block. We're taking six. I don't mind it. Ice cream's up to 12. If we can get an energy relic, that'd be great. Uh, also would not like to take this much damage, but... Hard beat for me to tell you how to live your life game. You can do whatever you want to me, apparently. We're gonna pivot right. Are we, though? Are we really gonna pivot right? Like, it's just around the corner there. The, the elite fight that I could probably take on. Where's... I should have taken poison, by the way. <laughs> Noticing this now. Poison would be very nice. None of that helps us out. Uh, Yeah, I'm a coward. So resting does reduce our maximum HP. So maybe, you know, it's two halves in one way, two halves the other. It doesn't really benefit anyone if you're not doing good to begin with. But, you know. Uh, secret funnel. Closest thing I have to poison. I could transfer that poison when someone dies as well. Or would this be of more use? We don't have a poison deck, but the funnel's nice because it also removes debuffs. It also uh -huh. removes debuffs. So give me the hand. If you know what I mean. Give me the power potion. So that's basically a, a, a free card. That's a free plus one somewhere along the way. We're going to upgrade the other thousand cuts because that is the gimmick I've decided to go with in this deck. And we're going to take on that elite. Sure you can, yeah. I, I'm not afraid. I can still take on two more elites. I just realized that. So this, this is fine. Actually, I totally did not see this was a path I could take. Wait, I never took on the first elite. That was the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, we're still taking on a bunch of elites. No, I just chose not to fight the first one. I am really slowly losing my mind. I would not be surprised... In a few years, the flesh eating virus has taken over. That's not really something to joke about, because that's like a real thing, apparently. I think it's called rabies. It's tested for rabies if you ever have the inkling you do. Uh, have a disease like that. Because rabies is fucked up, dude. I remember like, the first time... So, I say the first time I learned about what rabies truly is. Not, this is not like a fucking eye-opener like sort of story where it's like, Oh, the first time I learned about rabies, it's like, no. I'm a very... I'm a young lad. I'm a naive child. I don't know a lot of things, so whenever I don't know something, I'll literally ask. Like, I remember I asked my coworkers what the actual definition of a charter school was, and they explained it to me. I'm like, well, thank you for that. I would have never known. I mean, that's just the honest truth. I'm like, I don't know what a charter school is, dude. Tell me. And they explain it to me. Same thing with rabies. It's like, you know, you hear all the time, rabies is deadly. I'm like, oh, why is it so deadly? Someone tells me how it works. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. It's fucking scary. That shit's whack. Sympathy for anyone. For that. Also, also though, if you ever have the inkling or you get bit by a wild dog, go go check yourself out, because it's highly preventable, and uh, that's a good thing. I don't wish that sort of death upon anyone, not even my most mortal of enemies. It's not cool. Yeah, so these are the keys to make a, a good video, by the way. Just uh, apologize nonetheless. Uh, lose every run you ever do. Talk about rabies. Like, it's basically the checklist to success here. You heard it here live, uh, and I would never lead you astray in this regard. I've given you the key to success. Go forth and prosper. Okay, we're going to Apotheosis. We're going to Magnetism. Weaken. Blind. Wrong order there. Discovery. Give me... Give me damage. Yeah. Damage. Play that. Hand of Greed. Would have liked to make a little bit of dosh off of that, but you know what? That's fine. Ship for 10? Ship for 10. And thanks to Ice Cream, we can have some pretty wacky stuff happen with a transmutation. Hell, maybe we'll even get a transmutation back out of the transmutation. And well-laid plans... Not amazing. But it is like an energy refund for Mummified Hands, so something else can just become free forever. Which is great. I'm gonna take Finishers, though. I think Finishers a little bit better. And we're taking on that Elite. I'm not afraid. I am nobody's bitch. That was the line from the movie I was trying to reference. Although, again... 
the movie's called The One, and I forget the name of the actor, and I don't want to say, like, that Asian actor, because that basically makes me look like an ignoramus. I just truly forget his name. Hey, Cloak and Dagger's pretty good. Transmutation's also pretty good. Do a Dark Shuckle on you. Metamorphosis. Flash of Steel. No attacks, please. I just play that so I wouldn't take extra damage from the, uh, the Regret. Uh, let's do a Dagger Spray, and then let's do a Stab. It's 22 damage. That'll be enough to finish you off, so let's go ahead and do this. You have more HP now? Eviscerate you in the process. It's a little bit of a quicker math there that's working out for us. Poison Stab. Get killed by the Equalizer, dude. How embarrassing. Uh, slices zero. It's free. I, I think I'm fine with that. Anything that can stack up sure can a little bit more makes me happy. You. Oh. Hello? Is there a ghost in there? Hello? Get out of my closet, please. Okay. We'll do this. Uh, purify. Yeah. That's fine. Discovery. We gain adrenaline. I can transmute one more card. It's a forethought. Place a card from your hand to the bottom of the pile. It costs zero until played. Against this guy, that just seems all kinds of bad. Also took six damage from regret. Not paying attention there. Truly is a risk you run whenever you just like run your gums more than you do focusing on the game. And like I said, even though I play bad, sometimes I take that one the hardest. Like, hey, it's not easy to hold run in dialogue while trying to play the game. Just being honest with you. Takes a lot of the, the juices up here to do that. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, you can hit me for two. I don't mind that. I was about to say, I might play a card so I can kill you quicker there. No, it's actually highly not worth it, so... Go ahead and finish him off like that. You're looking good. Steroid potion. Hmm. Liable to be more useful than that. Uh, some poison. Uh, it's not a bad idea. I, I don't mind squeezing in some poison here, especially because we have the specimen, so if we can make a mix of something happen, that'd be nice. Alright, we're gonna backstab, block, block, block. All the toys you want here for a block, block, block. If anyone gets that movie reference, you win, uh, nothing. You win my absolute respect and understanding. Not that like, big of a deal, really, but it's like, hey, it's, it's a movie reference. I've, I made a successful movie reference. I'm proud of myself. Not a very good one or a very clever one. I mean, it's also a fairly old movie. Also, we need to rest when we get to the fireplace. As you do, it seems. As you do. So you're dead. You're not gonna hurt me, and I'm gonna get seven wonderful cards here. Two Metamorphosis. Which, by the way, can I, have I said enough about Metamorphosis? I think this is a great addition to the game. I'm a fan of a uh, random, really. Random that works for me. Not the random that works for you. Um, yeah, play Adrenaline. Do a deep breath. I'll hit you with that. Play Purity. Cool. We didn't perfect the fight, but we did a pretty good job handling it towards the end. Lost a lot of HP, so we, again, got a rest here. Matrushka! Glad to have it. Second bit of poison, also glad to have it. Reduce my max HP a little bit more, why don't you? That's fine. Alright. Suck boy. I do not fear the suck lord. It's ultimately gonna be okay. Not the greatest of openers. It's still good damage. I'll throw it out there. About a thousand cuts. This into that. I'm gonna transmute. This is a power. That makes one of these free. You could probably... I was, I was wondering if I could hear the dogs whistling out there. I guess the ice cream truck's driving by. Haven't heard that one in a while. Um, blast you. Drink you. Mmm. We go with the Noxious Fumes. So now we have enough damage to kill you. So we do that. 
I could reduce your attack by 9. That'll put you down to 11. Not good enough. Go ahead and put this at the bottom of the deck. Put this at the bottom of the deck. Oh my god, that's wonderful. And drink this. Alright, we're insulated from damage for one turn. He took care of his merry minions and he's still attacking me. What a bitch. Block. Block. Good. We managed to continue to mitigate his damage. We still have a strong potion on the uh, back in here for when we need it. Even more poison. I am saving this for his merry minions when he does resummon them. Although, if I can get the kill here and he's going to try and damage me, I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, we'll do that. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him again. Keep hitting him. He's done. That is success for me. To the ends of the earth. I will take it. I will take it. We have a chance of doing Beyond Perfect on a run where I basically have been joking. That's pretty dang good. Kind of want tools for the trade because that's more power in my pocket. Uh, Malize is actually outstanding though, and the fact that it is now a rare card still hurts me. Ever since that patch. Which, speaking of patch, I'm going to read patch notes after we're done here as well. Just so I can uh, add a little more emphasis on that. I was thinking, hey, get rid of some curses. No, why would you ever? That's foolish. Only a heathen would get rid of curses. Give me some more potions. Yeah? Yeah. Also, give me some more curses so I can get a 100 HP, please. Please and thank you. So fireplaces are upgrade. 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 I mean, if you're really that happy, let me tell you how to live your life. It's actually just like a... It's not even like a rude or awful joke. It's just like... It's just not funny. <laughs> so, good joke by the great me, I guess. But... Oh, you said the word wrong. Misspeak. Yeah. Is that, that's like a lot of the humor these days. Also, I've been noticing, uh, again, I draw a lot of my uh, entertainment and humor from the Northline Live Super Show. Perhaps you've heard of it. If you haven't, I mean, understandable, but like, where have you been all your life? And this, again, it's not a slight saying, if you don't watch this show, what are you doing with your life? It's like, I mean, you're probably like living a wonderful, balanced life where, you know, you probably have a successful life going on, and you don't watch uh, streams all the time. You just say, what I'm getting on here is I watch a lot of NL and his friends on their show. There's a thing that was always said on that show that I was like, you know, it's, it's sort of like the thing. It's like it's a bit. They're doing a bit. You can hear me say I talk about doing bits all the time. I mentioned my friends' bit. I feel like it's propagated outwards because, like, I've watched other streams outside of that and I hear people referencing they're doing a bit and I'm just like, this is a weird, like, kind of, like, sense of deja vu. I'm just like, is this something everyone says now? Is everyone, like... You know, they say, oh, we're doing a bit here. Like, I just find that interesting, because it's like, yeah, I'm doing a bit. It's like, ah. Oh. I could have sworn I only heard that in, like, one unique place. And maybe it's just proof, like, the show actually does propagate so far outward that it influences a great degree of Twitch. Is that, like, a very generous statement to make? Yeah, probably. Is it true? I don't know, dude. I'm just sort of rumbling my mouth here. But, it, like, I kid you not. No. <laughs> no. I will not drink from the fountain. You cannot make me drink from this fountain. I don't, I don't want to. You can listen around anywhere and you see or hear if someone's mentioning like doing a bit. And I promise you it is a thing that is actually occurring. And people say it, they're like, yeah, we're doing a bit. I'm not crazy, I promise. Also, toss away that regret. Let's do nine damage to everyone and give me some cards. I mean, that's fine. Uh Still, no one's attacking. You're starting to ramp up, so I want to hit you with this, because I don't want you to get too out of control before I can, like, hit you for anything. And hey, I can do no damage to myself and kill you. What a wonderful world. Second accuracy, it's getting a little whack. Ready to upgrade a card? Hmm, I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna, who? Starting out with another power out the gate would be pretty nice, because it guarantees us a free refund. Don't think that's a great move, but it gives us one other card for free. I'm fine with that. Dreamcatcher is nice. The pair is good, so I can uh, regret free rest twice and still be above the HP threshold that I want to be at. Play that. So from like a, a damage perspective there, not great. From like an energy conservation perspective, pretty good. Pretty dang good, if I had to say so. Sentinels of the Multiverse. Gabe, what are you playing? What is that game? 
Sentinels of the Multiverse. Is this a comic book game? It's a board game. I should have known. My buddy, the Gobstopper, and his board games. So we're gonna do this to you. We're gonna shiv you. I should have poisoned you, that you. We're gonna do this to you, and then we're gonna get a billion and a half cards that are gonna be great, like a pot of fucking Eosis. Do that, do that. Metamorphosis. One of those. Be patient. The combo's coming. All right, the combo is here. I'm gonna drink this so I can do a bunch of damage. Hey, look at that. It's 36 damage multiple times. Isn't that grand? All right, that being said, that potion could have been used on a boss fight, but we have a chance of getting a perfect here, so. Would like to shoot for the moon. Also, this is zero. Oh, it's, a, it's the metamorphosis, dude. Coming in hot with that metamorphosis. I love that card. Anytime I can ramp up that much damage in an ascension run, you got me as a believer. Still yet to be seen, but you know. Could happen. It could be right around the corner, you never know. Okay. The triple jaw worm is something I actually hate that exists on this floor now. I really wish it just didn't. And it's not a slight or a jab at the devs, I just I kinda hate this fucking fight. A great deal. It's like, you're fighting this on an ascension run, they're just ready to fucking actually eat you alive. And there's not much you can do about it. Uh, should have been doing thousand cuts, by the way. Yeah. Could have squeezed out a whole X more damage. Instead, we're gonna take 15 damage. Womp womp at the end of the day is what I say here. We'll do that. Hit you. Play you to get a free dagger spray. Dust you. Nice and easy smoke bomb. You never know when you might need it. Upgraded deadly poison is good and all, but a leg sweep is actually outstanding, and an upgraded cloak and dagger, even more outstanding. The boss is Donut and Starburst, so we want to go combo heavy. In my opinion, best boss fights to get, Donut and Starburst is easily my favorite one. They hit hard, but you can if you can get a good combo or just like kill him dead type of deck, you're basically golden. Could I have bought something there that would have been more useful? Yes. Have I hit 50 cards as a result of this? Also, yes. We'll call it a success. I'm just sort of buying away everything now. This next job is going to be, like, really sad, but... Eh. Lots of things are sad, just like my life. But hey, you don't hear me complaining, right? I only make heartful jabs at that. Hoi, 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 hoi. Um... That's good damage. That's better. Because we heal to full. 63 HP, if I can't take on one elite with this many powers, I didn't deserve to make it to the end anyway. Yeah, that's like a bold-faced lie, but, you know. Uh, we're just gonna go right after the big boy here. Don't mind it. And if we need to, we'll hit the panic button, run away, and then we'll heal up at the fireplace. But I've got confidence things are gonna be A-OK -okay here. So Acrobatics tosses away that. Noxus Fumes makes a Sucker Punch free. Do this. Sucker Punch, Slice. Stab. Stab. You'll be dead in two turns. I can do a lot more damage to you as a result. Doing 35 damage. Uh, gonna play it smart. Gonna play it a little bit smarter. There you go. Thousand cuts. Boom. Leg sweep. Boom. So ultimately, we were gonna be okay, but no shame in playing it smart. Hey, Mouse, you wanna drop that card over there? Appreciate it if you would. And you're also dead now, so uh, your ashes will scatter the earth and you will cease to exist. You'll be no more. Goodbye. Original jokes, by the way, totally not copied off of anyone at all. Second leg sweep, love it. Resting, also love it. Dodge roll, stay with me. I'm loving it. Can you safely, I mean, obviously, it's like, I wonder if there's like any like legit fear out there like saying words or phrases that fear of like, you know, big business coming down hard on you. It's like, hey, you can't say that, that's our slogan. Like, was Shia LaBeouf in trouble when he, like, did the just do it bit? Also. <laughs> also Nike. Also the world right now. Also just life. Like, anytime I think about what's going on, this is about as political as it gets for me, the whole, like, Nike situation. I barely even knew what was going on, so I had to familiarize myself with the situation. Um, and that's pretty much all I'll say on that is, 
The world's an interesting place, isn't it? <laughs> that's that's my like best attempt at skirting around it because now I don't feel like talking about it. I just think it's funny. The world makes me laugh. Again, I don't really have a swing politically one way or the other. I sort of believe my own thing, but it's like, eh. The world makes me giggle now and then. And ultimately, like, if we were being honest, anytime, like, a big, like, controversy or problem approaches the grand stage, I can't help but think back and it's just like, you know, anytime there's a problem in the world or something is perceived as a big problem, it honestly is just a drop in the world. But the world is just a giant puddle of problems, and it's like, we all got problems, obviously. That's like, each problem affects us individually in one way or another. It's like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being, like, a downer. <laughs> in, the, in, like, the, a good way, I guess, if that's something you can say. Downer in a good way. I have no idea. Also, I think I want Blade Dance. But it's kind of hard to get me, like, all riled up about stuff anyway. It's like, yeah. And it's, like, easy to just be like, oh, rub it up, pass it off. It's like, yeah, the world's got problems, so what? But it, it's kind of kind of true in, in, like, a very non, like, you know, this is my stance sort of thing. I'm just like, yeah. world's got problems. We got, I got problems, too. We got a lot of them. Some are worse than others, obviously, but it's like, you know. You pick your priorities on what's going to be the big issue, I guess, is what I'm saying. And again, it's not me swinging one way or the other. I'm just like, eh. Can you tell I'm very good at skirting around or not trying to talk too much about big political topics? Yeah, you can. Like I mentioned before, we come here to play games. If there was a good bit or joke I could make in reference to Nike, I absolutely would do it. There is nothing to be found here, though. You cannot smoke bomb the final boss fight. We've learned this uh, right here, right now. So I'll do prepared. I can toss away a ride. Holy shit, am I actually gonna make it out of here? <laughs> I am. I am going to make it out of this some way, somehow. If I can perfect this as well. Chop me hook on the chop me hook on the, the leaderboard here. I can skewer you for a fair amount. Not a lot. Just a fair amount. Nothing to write home about really. We weren't going to kill him anyway. We weren't going to get 30 block anyway. I think this is fine. Okay, dodge roll. Decent. Shiv him. Shiv him. Strike him. Blast him. Block him. It's fine. Not the end of the world. I ain't crying. None of us should be crying at home, in the audience, in the crowd. It's going to be okay. No beyond perfect, but I think we're going to get a pretty good score because we got the curses. We got the HP. Like, I think... I think a lot of other people have had this as well, and the daily's only just starting, so it's a long way to go to see what we have here, as far as this is a concern. Hmm, check this out. Boom. You're doing 12 now. I've never seen a more embarrassing Starburst in my goddamn life. Also, did you know they make spicy Starburst now? My son at work likes to think he's uh, pulling a click on me. Uh, for the record, if you're new here, I don't actually have a son at work. I just call him my son because he is my work son, and I respect him greatly. He gave me like a Starburst today. He's like, hey Tim, here you go. Giving you this to spice up your life. And it took me a while to realize what he was saying until he like really leaned in on it and like, he's like, you get it? Spice up your life? I'm like, you're giving away your joke. But thank you. I ate it. It's a spicy Starburst. I didn't even know they made these things. I love spicy cane and all, but not in my Starburst. It's ultimately not a bad thing. 1086? Could be better. But I'll do it today. It's a victory screen. I can't ask for anything more right now. It's a victory screen. Thank you for watching the double feature here. Um, not sure if I want to put this up immediately afterwards or not. We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out as we go. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. You'll you'll see when this goes up, if it's like within an hour or two of the last video going up. So yeah, I threw it up instantly. Enjoy. Consider it your double feature for tomorrow, but also consider it as like, you know, I wanted to get something on the screen that wasn't me losing, so. Yeah. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned before, go get yourself a snack. If I do a stream tonight, I will tweet about it. You can always pop by. I might just be doing again. It's not the official stream stuff, so I'm okay squeezing Monster Hunter in on these, but yeah. Normal streams will be back to the regular scheduled program. Alright, everyone get yourself a snack, enjoy your evening, we'll see you on the next one.